Hey guys, welcome to a, uh, a new sort of style of content that I'm I'm trialing, which is sim racing. So you would have seen some content already pop up when I got my Oculus Rift S headset here. So this sim rig has got a little bit out of hand lately. Um, I got the um, this sim rig here. I used to just have it all mounted to my desk, and it was pretty pretty crappy to be honest like um, not the best height the shift wasn't at a very good height um, it all moves around and also when you want to pack it all away it's a real pain in the ass so I'll put the link below to the sim rig but it's a uh, GT art racing sim rig you can buy them on eBay or from their website um, then the wheel itself is a G27 Logitech so I had the whole setup I've had it for I suppose probably seven, eight years, so it's done me well. Then I recently upgraded, uh, not long after getting the uh, Simri itself, is these Fnatic V2 pedals. So I got them second hand um, for a pretty good deal. Uh, they're really nice pedals. They got a uh, a load cell on the on the brake, so rather than being like where your foot is for brake percentage, it's actually pressure. So similar to a car, so. The brake pedal itself doesn't push very far. It pushes a little bit initially, just like a normal brake. And then from there, it doesn't move very much. It's actually how how much you push on it with your foot. So you can set up with a little dial here how much pressure adjustment you want sort of thing. So how much pressure will equal how much braking. Um, so if you want a sort of light pressure, you can just dial that right back. Otherwise, you can crank it right up. So I've got about halfway. Then... Uh, for my birthday, my mates bought me this handbrake. So Fnatic again, very, very nice handbrake. As you guys would have seen, I uh, back in the day I did drifting in real life. Uh, having a house is a little bit too expensive to do drifting in real life these days, so I do sim, sim drifting, but anyway. Um, I've got this Fnatic handbrake, very nice. I used to have a joystick uh, modified into a handbrake you would have seen in a, a very old video of mine if you're a long subscriber. So I retired that one and got this nice handbrake here. Next up, I bought this Fnatic shifter. So a very nice shifter. I'll just get my headphones out of the way. So it comes with another gear knob, which is a weighted one. This one's quite heavy, actually. This one's just a little aluminium one. Um, I've been doing eye racing recently. Uh, I'll put some content on that soon. But uh, this is just in sequential mode at the moment. So very nice and. If you want to put it into normal mode, just flick that little dial and it becomes a H pattern. Very, very nice. Super, super nice shifters. I mean, you can't really compare it to a G27, obviously, but yeah. Oh, I mean, I'm wrapped with it. So, here uh, here comes the, the latest unveiling, which which is the, you know, the last piece of the puzzle, really. So... This is the Fnatic V2.5 V2 wheelbase. Uh, so the Club Sport wheelbase. And I've also got the Club Sport BMW M3 GT2 wheel. So I actually got this second hand. Uh, I'm on this Fnatic page on Facebook and the, uh, the runner of the page who runs Boosted Media on YouTube, if you're not subscribed to him, definitely subscribe to him below. Um, you would have seen this in his videos, and this is actually his old one. So, I mean, it, uh, it's had ma marginal use because he's updated to a uh, to a direct drive unit. But I bought this off him for a pretty good price. So we'll um, we'll open her up and we'll have a look. Now, if you're wondering why it's going to look a little bit ratty in there, I uh, I've already unboxed this one, so it doesn't have the bag on it anymore. I forgot. So he's packaged it all up real nice. Like I say, I did have the felt bag on it, but I've taken it off just for an easy video. So, yep, that's the wheel there. It's a very, very nice wheel. I mean, the, the video does not do it justice, but this is all metal. Like, um, actually, this is plastic, but it looks very aluminium y. Uh, very nice wheel. I'm freaking stoked with it. It's actually quite heavy. A lot heavier than I was expecting it to be. And it's got a quick release there. So that's pretty sweet. So I'll unbox the uh, the wheelbase now. 
I haven't actually unboxed this yet, so this will be uh, a first for both of us. Done a bloody beautiful job of unboxing, uh, unboxing her back up for me. That's for sure. All the manuals and everything's still here. Like, I knew, I knew when I was gonna buy it from him that it would, that it'd be packaged really nicely because I've, I've been watching his videos for a while and I know, just kind of, just from watching his videos, I know the sort of guy he's like. So, he seems uh, quite meticulous. And as you can see, definitely is because he's kept every single piece of cardboard. Um, ah, well, that's unreal. Even the power supply is still in its box. Unbelievable. So, a little o ring. I'll put that to one side. So, I'll, I'll probably um, I'll probably lift this out two handed and, uh, and I'll be back in a minute. Wow. So, like I said, he's uh, he's definitely the person to buy from. Very meticulous. So this is this thing is bloody immaculate. Like. Not a scratch on it. It may as well be new. So I'm freaking happy with that. So without further ado, I'm going to take off my old G27. Uh, that will be for sale as well. So I'll sell that and get a little bit of money back and uh, mount on the new equipment and give it a test ride. Okay, so it's all mounted except obviously for the wheel which I'll chuck on soon. So I just wanted to quickly show how I've all done it, um, just for people, I suppose, if they're doing it themselves, just for another way. So what I've done is for the handbrake, uh, the handbrake has to plug into the pedals. So you either have to use a little splitter, they give you just a little um, RJ145, whatever it's called, um, splitter, and then means you plug it into the pedal section in the back. Uh, that's the cable length that they give you is really long, so it kind of looks like you've got to have a, a lot of cable to tie up somewhere. So you can ultimately, alternatively, sorry, you can plug it the handbrake straight into the pedals. So on the V2s and the V3s, they have a little handbrake port just there. So I've run that cable from the pedals up, just got rid of all the loose wires here, runs up nice and cleanly straight into the handbrake and then the shifter is just straight into the wheel I've just got it bundled up here and then the pedals themselves and the power wire come up here just got it bunched up there runs up and in and the power bricks just sit over there so nothing's in the way and yeah the wheels all on nice and sweet all the cables are nice and neat in the back and then the uh, obviously the USB cable runs around and into the PC. Would have been nice to see the USB cable black, but anyway, whatever. So now I'm just going to chuck the base on the pedals, uh, plug in the power, obviously, download all the latest drivers and software, and uh, we'll, we'll give it a go. Well, I'll tell you what, it's a bit of an upgrade. Oh yeah. Should be a quick release there. Not that I'm gonna really, you know, change this wheel at all, but we your belt drive there. You can see it all moving. Awesome. So I've downloaded the drivers. Uh haven't turned it on yet. So I'm assuming it's this button. I didn't read any instructions, of course. Ooh, it's doing something. Oh yeah. I'll let it do its thing. So that's that. Wow. I mean, I know this is not in game with any force feedback or anything, but holy crap, it feels different.
and just. I mean, it's silent compared to the old Logitech. And with force feedback enabled, that's uh, extremely loud. Like, if I get home from night shift and I want to have a bit of a play, I can't because I'll either wake the missus up or probably even wake the neighbours up. But this is, this is silent. That's amazing. All right, guys. Well, that's pretty much wraps it up, I think. Um, I'm just going to do some actual sim racing videos from now. Sorry, from now on with this setup. And, uh, yeah, stay tuned. Subscribe if you like this content and more to come.